Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Show. Out here at the Pioneer Auto Show, Murdo, South Dakota, checking out a ton of cool cars. They've got an awesome collection here, cars, signs, memorabilia, guns, toys, all kinds of stuff. Extremely diverse collection, as well as their old town with the railroad depot, uh, the schoolhouse, all kinds of cool stuff here. Definitely wanna check it out if you're anywhere near Murdo, South Dakota. However, we like cars, that's what we dig, that's what we're checking out. That's what we want to bring you is some of the cool cars in this collection. With almost 300 of them on the ground, no way to show you all of them. But we're going to show you some highlights and uh, give you some teasers to show you it's really worth checking out. Obviously, you can see in this one building alone, extremely diverse collection of super cool cars. And they've got a pair of them sitting right here together that you never, ever, ever, hardly ever see together sitting right beside each other. That's why we want to show them to you. A pair of AMCs. 1969 Scrambler. 1970 Rebel Machine, a set of them sitting right here beside each other. These are such cool cars. We'll start off with a little scrambler right here. These were such a cool car. They were available in two different paint schemes. They were all red, white, and blue, but two different schemes. This one was a slab-sided red. Now, these cars were so unique, they had a 390 in them. This hood scoop is factory. I know, it looks like a mailbox. It is factory. This striping package is factory. The air stickers factory that's how these cars came so unique they had the 390 badges on them and for a small little amc to put a 390 in them these were a fairly potent car for their time now obviously amc was always kind of the underdog they always kind of had to do whatever they could to try to keep up with the big three this was their answer in this muscle car era and they put their 390 in this small body put a cool wild paint scheme on them and, uh, and threw it out there. You don't see them today. They're so unique and they're such a cool car that I personally dig them because it's something different. Now, obviously, and then another AMC right beside it, the AMX, a much more well-known AMC performance car, muscle car, the AMX. But these two here are the ones we wanna focus on because it's so cool to see a pair of these sitting right beside each other. Now, if we kind of come around here and take a peek on the inside of this car, Another thing that was always unique to these cars were the headrests. They actually even had red, white, and blue headrests on them. So unique cars, something you don't see very often at all. Now, sitting next to the, to the little AMC Rambler there, or the Scrambler as they call them, is the 1970 Rebel Machine. Once again, AMC, the underdog, doing what they could to try to keep up with the big three, and they came out with the Rebel Machine, also in a red, white, and blue paint scheme. Definitely an iconic, extremely unique hood scoop on these machines. 390 call-outs, and to make it even more unique, I mean, Pontiac and a lot of other people did use a hood tack. They built their hood tack into the back corner of their hood scoop. So... There again, trying to do something a little different, trying to make themselves stand out, trying to stay competitive with the big three. Had the machine stickers right on the side of the car. He's had kind of a unique, somewhat fast back roof line. The stripes came down the side, went all the way across the trunk on these cars. And they were just so unique and something you just don't ever see. So it's so cool that they've got a set of these performance cars from AMC sitting right next to each other. We can even see the red, white, and blue paint schemes on the bottom of the grill. And over here we can get we can get a little better look down the side of this car of how that stripe comes all the way down the side in the rear quarter. In accordance with the C pillar, comes on around at the back. And across the back we've got the rebel panel with the machine right here on the trunk lid. Such iconic cars, something you just don't see. That's why I think they're cool. I love stuff that's a little bit different. I mean, granted, Chevelles, Mustangs, Camaros, they're fine, they're cool, people like them. But to me, I see them all the time. I love seeing stuff like this, especially a set of them in one place. Unique, different, cool, still checks all the boxes for performance. Loud, bright colors, cool hood scoops, anything you can do to try to get somebody's attention in the performance world in the late 60s and early 70s. Now, obviously, they didn't make a ton of either one of these cars, so they no, they never really did take off. They were never like the Chevelles and the Mustangs and the Camaros. 
But today, to me, that's what makes them more unique. Here at the Pioneer Auto Show in Murdo, they've got a pair of them. You can check them both out, sitting right beside each other. So, definitely cool. Plus, they got the AMX here to complete the set, the more well-known AMC performance car. So, it's so cool to see all this stuff in one place at one time. If you're ever in the area, be sure to check out the Pioneer Auto Show, Murdo, South Dakota. If you're ever coming up to the Dakotas, going to go to Mount Rushmore, going to go check any of that stuff, going to Sturgis, stop by Murdo. Check out this collection. Almost 300 cars here. We're going to give you some samples of it because there's so much stuff here, but definitely worth checking out. So next time you're coming by, swing by, say hi. Be sure to check out the collection. Stay tuned. More cool stuff coming, and we hope to see you on the next video.